this video covers the two middle weeks of February. There's not as many cars in this video as usual, but for those of you who complain that I call these chase reports, but there's often not uh, really chase cars in them, this video has three chase vehicles in it. Start with the well, we start with all of them first. Uh, first one I found at um, the beginning of the two weeks. Um, the uh, Kretvat discount stores had a few leftover Hot Wheels, one euro and forty nine cents each, which is a very uh, fair price. Um, this is the Ain't Fair, a rear Sada casting. First I have example I have of this bus. Uh, there you can see the Treasure Hunt logo. That's uh, the reason why I uh, got it. So this will be the only um, example I have of this as a Treasure Hunt. And I will open it up in the bus video that I uh, plan on doing one day. 2024 release. Then I went to a uh, old timer event called Flanders Collection Car that also has some uh, vendors that sell diecast. Um, there's some usual suspects sellers that are, are there every year, and there's some uh, that were there last year that weren't there anymore, and some new ones that were there that possibly will not be there again next year. Um, this uh, first seller had. Uh, majorette cars from all ranges, uh, street cars, premium cars, racing cars, all for five euro each. So very expensive when it comes to the street cars, a little bit uh, overpriced when it comes to the premium cars, but um, I could not believe my eyes there was a uh, chrome edition for 2023 chase on the table there right in front uh yeah pick that up if it's a chase i'm happy to pay five euro for that so this is the toyota gt86 uh one of four chrome chases in the premium cars of 2023 i have the um audi e-tron already and the other two are the ds7 and the electric Hummer. So tune in to uh, future chase reports to see if I managed to grab those two or not. I will open this up when I do the uh, catalog video for uh, the premium cards of 2023. And then chase number three. So the same seller was also selling, selling some uh, green light, just thrown in a box, kind of a dump in. This is a hobby exclusive, the uh, Ford Shelby GT350 2016, a track attack, Ford Performance Racing School livery, green body green machine, 10 euro for these uh, green lights uh, for a, uh, a chase, that is a fair price. The regular ones, it's a little bit expensive. Uh, will not be opening this because uh, I might already have this, not sure. So I'll keep this on the card for now. And uh, if I already have it, I'll pass it on to a friend. Uh, 2020 copyright, 2020 production on this. You can freeze the frame if you want to read that. Then uh, a different, different seller. Um, a usual suspect, the previous one it was a Dutch seller, um, I don't think I've seen him there before. Um, but this is a, a seller I, bought, I buy from almost every year. Um, he had a few uh, green lights too. This is a Club V-Dub Series 3, um, 1977 Volkswagen Type 2 bus. He was asking 10, uh, I got a, um, a deal because I bought a few things from him. and. Uh, Probably because he uh, recognizes me from um, from last year, so uh, yeah. If you uh, keep buying from the same guys over and over, eventually, um, yeah, they'll uh, they hook you up. Even though eight euro for a green light is not particularly uh, a great price, but you know, good enough. Official licensed product sticker there. 
This has a 2016 copyright and a 2016 production date on there. This one I will open up and not pre-cut it because, you know, there's not that much stuff in this video anyway. So you have some time to uh, see me cut this open. Very exciting, right? I know. You just want to see me cut my fingers. I know you do. Let's see. Uh, a very low serial number, just um, 16. That's pretty cool. Got a metal base, metal body, separate chrome bumpers that are plastic. Uh, it's got a uh, silver line in there. It says Type 2 written in there. Lens headlights. Mirrors cast into the body. Painted tail lights with some chrome deco and a chrome uh, roof rack on top. White interior fits the, uh, the white top part of the vehicle. Very nice. And the other one is also green. Same price, obviously. Got it from the same guy. So this is series four of uh, Club V-Dub and the, um, the date 2016 copyright but 2017 production and this was uh, a year later. A little bit higher serial number 1604, 1969 Volkswagen Type 2, metal on metal. This one has a green painted plastic bumpers. Uh, this one is uh, kind of an... Uh, Older style Type 2. It's missing the VW logo. I wonder if that is an error. Uh, it does have the smaller tail lights that are lensed. I like that. Actually better than the other one. Got a roof rack on there too. Also has the white interior. That has got the um, indicators down there. Whereas the newer version has them uh, up, up there. Cool. You can see the difference in the tail lights. Sweet. Also from the same seller, I got this one. Uh, not in great condition. Um, this is the Guy Warrior Car Transporter by uh, Lesney, Matchbox, made in England. Um, I did not have this color combo. Uh, this uh, he was asking. Uh, 5 euro 4 and I got it for 4 euro. Um, what does it say here? Basically the same thing. Yeah, as it says on the trailer. It's got uh, some writing on there in the front. Guy, warrior. Um, so Farnborough Misham Car Auction Collection. It says there on the, the decal, it's missing two uh, tires on the rear axle here. So I put the, uh, the inner tires to the outside so that it doesn't, uh, it's that obvious that it's missing something. I had to clean this up big time. Also there was a repair done here because the, um, the ramp has, uh, has kind of broken here on the side. Uh, I don't know why the previous owner felt the need to uh, to repair that. Um, I don't know if he was loading very heavy cars on here on a daily basis or what, because it seems a little bit silly. So um, I pulled off the repair here. Uh, of course, it pulled off the paint too. Um, so I cleaned up the bottom, uh, sorry, the top uh, ramp with a um, very good product that. Uh, Unfortunately, also takes off the, the shine uh, of, um, of the paint, but it does clean very thoroughly. And then the bottom uh, part of the trailer 
I just cleaned with hot water. Uh, it's not as uh, thorough at cleaning. There's still some um, some black uh, or dark tint to it from the dirt, but it does leave the uh, the gloss the shine on there. Uh, oh well, at least it's clean. So folds ramp folds down, and then this. Uh, the stop deck comes down and so that way you can drive the, uh, the vehicles on there. I'll demonstrate that with the, some of the vehicles I have acquired from other sellers. I got one majorette from a, um, a Dutch seller that I got two the next two uh, vehicles from. Although I don't know if this really uh, counts as a vehicle. So this is a majorette a motorcycle trailer. I have one of these uh, that is missing a wheel. I just bought it because it still had the motorcycles on it. But this one has both wheels on there, so this is a much better version. Uh, he was uh, asking three euro for uh, this. I got it for two and a half. Kind of a package deal with the second one. So yeah, that's nice to have a complete one. That's what matters to me, it doesn't have to be mint. And then I found this very nice uh, Norev mini jet Peugeot 604, made in France. Metal on metal. They always have these funny colored windows. So this is, this was kind of the uh, flagship flagship uh, Peugeot back in the day. Uh, it's very good nick. So uh, yeah, good deal on this. Definitely. So let's uh, drive this one on there. It's not, yeah, perfect, but you know, you get a drift, I guess. Then from uh, a lady seller, I got another Norv Minijet, the Volvo F89. First example I have of this uh, fuel tanker. It's missing the stickers on the side. Uh, could have been shell. Uh, first example I have of this uh, truck rig, lorry, with these kind of wheels. They're a little bit, the axle is a bit crooked on the rear. Um, yeah, it's got the colored windows also. So this has the black plastic insert to hold the axles. That also makes for the bumper and the, the grill in the front and these uh, fuel tank and the air tank and a little uh, trailer hitch. So, all metal body, basically. Uh, since we ha don't have that many vehicles in uh, this video, I will. Um, I decided to show you the other ones I have, because uh, I've shown, uh, shown a few of these in the Volvo video I did, but since then I've acquired, I've acquired quite a few of these. So the, the first ones I found were these uh, what you call these pickup versions or um, open bed ones. So they all have the same base, but there's, uh, these are the, um, the other wheels and all of them have these wheels. So except for that uh, fuel tanker I just showed. Uh, different um, cabins, there's two different cabins. This is the, kind of the old style cabin with the, the small Volvo and the small grill. And then uh, I got this one with the um, tarpaulin or the canopy still with it. Um, so basically the same, but uh, this one has a clear window, which I like much better. And this one has the, the big Volvo and a slightly bigger grille on there. And the lights are kind of oval instead of round on the older version. And of course, different uh, color um, bumper and the base part and grille. Then we got uh, this one. It's kind of a crane. Unfortunately, missing the hook, so I need to find a better version. It has the hook still on there, but this will do for now. This extends, goes up and down, and then the metal uh, base that has the cabin and the engine and then some storage on there is uh, can swivel. And then this is plastic, and I showed these uh, before. These things come down. As kind of a support for the uh, and there's two on the other side for when this uh, vehicle is in use for stability of course 
This one has the orange light part of the window piece. And we got the trash truck. Vie propre, Paris. It's a clean city, Paris, it says there in French. The uh, more modern cabin or cab. The big Volvo name on there. Slightly orange window and cherry on top on this one. And we get to the fire engines. All metal uh, body here. Uh, plastic ladder and hoses. This thing should have a horizontal nozzle on there, but that's broken off, so this is not complete either. This has the old cab on there. COE cab over engine, and then the most recent additions to this collection that I've shown recently is the, the ladder fire truck. So, got two versions of that. Cool, and there's many more to find, uh, different styles, uh, different containers on the back, uh, yeah. So I think that I need to find like um, four or five different ones still. Then at Supra Bazaar, uh, uh, which is um, kind of a store where you can find basically everything except for food. And they have some Siku there, which are reasonably priced. Uh, I picked up this uh, ADAC pickup, so a roadside assistance vehicle for Germany. ADAC stands for Allgemeine Deutsche Automobile Club, which translates to General German Automobile Club. Kind of comparable to uh, Haggerty in the United States, I guess. So the VW Amarok TDI. With some stats there of the vehicle made in China. So this has rubber tires, generic rims, opening doors, lensed headlights with a lot of uh, tempo details in the front. Unfortunately painted taillights, not lensed in the rear uh, with just a VW logo done but the uh, Light bar on top compensates for the uh, taillights by being painted, and you get an all metal bed which you will not see on the Mattel produce, and a uh, detailed interior with a proper steering wheel. So, all in all, not bad. Nice addition to the roadside assistance collection. And then we get to the Hot Wheels 5 packs. So the uh, Carrefour hypermarkets were doing a sale on uh, Mattel stuff again. Buy two, get one for free. Um, so I got these three 5 packs. So basically that's 33.34% off. So from 9 euro 99 to 6 euro 66. So 1 euro 33 per car. This is 2023 Hot Wheels Drift 5 pack. Not very exciting. Um, but you know, in uh, 2023, unfortunately, they decided uh, to not put five licensed vehicles in their five packs, but uh, only four and add one uh, piece of junk. So let's take a look. The other ones, Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR, kind of goldish or bronze rims. Uh, I don't like the painted, the colored window piece. Uh, nice deco on the side, though. And that's all we get because you know, five pack model have a metal wing. Yeah, that's a cool one. Uh, let's continue with the American stuff here. Custom 2012 Ford Mustang. Got the drift name there on the side. Also kind of gold or bronze-ish uh, rims. This one does have the roof tempo and the 
the hood and even on the spoiler so for a five pack model this is pretty well endowed the tempo department surprisingly and then uh, the dodge charger drift blue rims on this few uh, sponsors there mentioned on the side metal wing also and the only one that really excites me in this pack the Toyota AE86 Corolla it's got some Japanese there on the side and also some sponsors red interior right hand drive so only one seat in there and this uh, still has the um, hook assembly so the base clips into the body which is uh, very unusual because this actually requires a, a factory worker to slide that in there that's why they don't use it very often so yeah this is definitely the winner out of this uh, five pack by far another 2023 release demo destruction uh, all fantasy stuff in there but all uh, fantasy stuff well most of the fantasy stuff here and here i uh, i like so we got two crushed vehicles in here this is the flat iron so this is the uh crush station wagon and very nice uh, ruby red or whatever you want to call that flat iron 045 deco mismatched wheels one might be glow in the dark not sure very cool the other crushed one is uh, the blind sided which is the van and so it happens that the station wagon and the van are my uh, two uh, favorite ones of the crushed vehicles and actually the only ones I still uh, try to collect all of them. Also has the mismatched wheels, just a bunch of color slapped on the side there it seems. It's, this is kind of a uh, metal flake black I would say. And these have a nice way to them. Even though they you'd think they they wouldn't. Then we got the cruise bruiser, another station wagon. Chrome interior makes for the engine the roll cage in there, and the, you know the rest of the interior. Got an anchor in there. That's funny. Mismatched wheels also. So a gasser station wagon. Here we have the Repo Duty metal base, plastic body. I don't think I have an example of this and uh, definitely need one for my uh, tow truck video. So kind of cool that uh, this was also in here. Wreck recovery, it says on the side there, 24 hours. Got the front pull bar in metal with the winch on there. Side exhaust in metal, mud flaps in metal in the back. And then you kind of sit a car on there. Like that. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Not in the frame. Yeah, that works right. This one is uh, also a rear SADA casting I believe project speeder not something I collect nice color though again ugly colored window so that'll go in the uh, donation pile and then the best one of the bunch 2024 night burners all licensed vehicles in here are not again 
There's a, uh, yeah, piece of garbage in there, unfortunately. And then they want between 10 and 13 euro for these uh, five packs in Europe. I don't think that's going to happen. Here we get uh, some uh, Mustang, which is damaged in the back, unfortunately. I'll show you the box. I saw that the, uh, the blister was cracked. I did not see that the Mustang was uh, damaged. Uh, 67 Shelby GT500 is what we got here. Got a chrome base, but just get chrome exhaust in the rear. And then just a chrome grill in the front. So kind of a waste of chrome, if you ask me. Side deco, GT500, kind of a fastback, right? Looks like it. Uh, let's stay with the American ones. 2018 Copa Camaro. Get the uh, Go Faster stripes on top. It's got the chute in the back and the wheelie bars. junk and then we get some euro stuff in there finally megan trophy so this is the renault megan obviously in the race version v6 megan trophy renault sport yeah it's got uh, all the info you need on there and it's uh you know it's got three tempo sides with the headlights Possibly part of the top tempo, or maybe they're an extra front tempo, not sure, but uh, this is pretty good when it comes to tempos. I'm very pleased with this. It's kind of a metal flake, uh, mustardy colored, I, color, I guess. Plastic wing, plastic diffuser, yeah. Definitely a winner, and the best one from this pack is this uh, Nissan 300ZX TT. TT stands for uh, something with the top, right? Twin top, is that what it means? I forget. Cool wheels, uh, nice color, lens headlights. Get the Nissan badge on the front there. And then we get the rear done. Yeah, perfect. Very, very, very nice. Thanks for watching.